we dive in deep into the heart of the Pugsay philosophy of the Ramon Aboites Foundation Incorporated. The Pugsay is an oar and that the fisherman uses to kind of propel himself towards his goal every single day. We use the metaphor for just our continued work, no matter how big the waves are. With their pillar programs focused on improving the economic well-being of communities, creating opportunities for growth, and improving a sense of identity and purpose, and building healthy, resilient, and livable communities. Organizations dedicated to help the marginalized not only allow the poor to survive for the day, but also build communities that are able to adapt and recover. Today, we look at how a Cebu-based foundation envisions the future with healthy, skilled, financially responsible, and socially conscious citizens strong enough to thrive during tough times. I'm Pinky Webb, and this is Business Matters, where doing good is good business. The year 2020 has brought a major pandemic casualty with at least 8.7 million jobs lost during the enhanced community quarantine, or ECQ, from March to May. As the crisis bludgeoned the economy, many people were driven out of the workforce, including small-scale entrepreneurs. Like Delia, who was forced to shutter the craft shop she built from scratch in her hometown in Cebu. I was able to get the materials I was able to work, sir, and I was able to month of October, I was able to get my home. 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 I was able to get my Living in the countryside of Central Visayas, which economy dwindled by 9.9% in 2020, an unemployment rate jumped from 5.2% to 10.3%. Delia, a cancer survivor, had to bear the distress of being unable to support those who rely on her. Ang akong chandelier is a good guy. Close ang exporter, close to the door. Katong mga materyalis na ako na kumpra, ako gito ang ipabuhat sa kong mga tao. Para po ang mga tao, ang sir, na po din tayo matrabaho. Kaya ba baka listen kayo. Ako rin sila ang ipang apuran o bugas tayo sa kasako. This crisis is a cruel setback, especially for daily wage earners such as Rosalie, who got retrenched from the company she worked for. Nagsara kay tungod sa pandemic. Huwag may mahimo kay... Decision naman sila at ordinary close sila. Kung saan na lang pag kuha na kuha na ng panginabuhi, na wala ay trabaho, kung ba na wala po, lockdown na. Without funds to fall back on, her family had to hold firmly to whatever help they could get from other people. Ang mga silingan de reserve mo, assess mo sa mga tao de rin nga wala ba. Pag dinabangay na lang po sila. Sa Visayas talaga, we were really affected. And it was really difficult to recover. Our micro-entrepreneurs, especially those dependent on tourism, they were really affected. Ramon Aboites Foundation Incorporated. Microfinance is a program under the microfinance and entrepreneur focus area of the Cebu-based Ramon Aboites Foundation Incorporated. Established in 1998, it operates in provinces across Visayas such as Cebu, Bohol, and Leyte and has opened new branches in Bicol and Mindanao to serve more. To date, we have actually served almost 500,000 clients. Since the pandemic, in terms of the working capital, we have released actually around 5 billion in loans to them. For this year alone, we have trained around 2,000 of our clients. 
Rafi MFI has saved thousands of micro enterprises and provided safety nets amid the economic meltdown, including Delia and Rosalie, who both look for an alternative to support their living. Motong pa December sir, naka decision ko nga magbaboy ko. Naisip na ko gumikan ka dato sir Oliver. Ang Rafi kay mag-aaral sa bayaran, gamay ra ang interest. Last month marami akong order sa Shell Scraft. This month kana na pong pintas-pintas. An integral component of Rafi's economic pillar, Rafi MFI has been providing both financial and non-financial services to the vulnerable and marginalized sector. It's really more of providing working capital to these micro-entrepreneurs. For the non-financial services, we have been conducting trainings and even scholarship to select children of our clients. We have also actually offered another venue, the Rafi Microfinance Tindahani Nanay. We're also expanding the Tindahani Nanay to providing tatays also a venue for becoming the delivery, the courier services of our nanas. Furthermore, Rafi has rendered medical assistance to communities so people may have something to turn to during an emergency. The problem that we would like to address and even support is that we would like to also contribute to the poverty elevation and unemployment. We would like to empower them so that they will have a tool for them to really manage their own business and to stand on their own in the future. Perhaps the best thing to do when one hits rock bottom is begin cultivating the ground. For Ramon Aboites Foundation Incorporated Microfinance, it means starting from the grassroots in order to develop financially responsible and accountable drivers of the economy. If we are able to also make our micro-entrepreneurs sustainable, they would really be able to also generate more jobs and be able to help their community as well.